Hey guys, uh, welcome to the introduction of social network analysis with applications. Uh, in this course, we will go through some basic stuff on graph theory, which will basically tell us what networks are, what are the properties, how do we characterize the networks. Okay, uh, just like the regular context, I'll use graph and networks interchangeably because there's uh, not a lot of difference from the point of view. This will check uh, check this thing. So just uh, don't get confused if I say it's graph or a network, it's both the same thing, right? Other than that, we will see some properties of networks or the graphs. I know most of you would have studied these things, uh, graphical algorithms and these things in your algorithm subject or data structures. Maybe in networks, you have seen application of these things uh, in routing or such uh, concepts. So we will have all of those things as well. Uh, but on top of that, since uh, social network analysis has a very important component or is very frequently used with machine learning techniques, we will mainly focus on that part of it. Okay, how can we uh, apply machine learning techniques? How can we get some more information about all of the things around us using structural uh, design of all of these things? Uh, see some examples, a couple of real social media examples. Other than that, uh, we have the COVID-19 tracing, right? So the COVID-19 tracing uh, was happening through uh, social network analysis itself because you need to build a very strong network to know uh, what people uh, are you connected with? Uh, what people are they connected with? So that you can trace to first or second level of people who might get affected, right? So those are some real uh, applications of social network analysis. Uh, other than that, we will not just have theory in this course. There will be a heavy uh, weightage of implementation. Now, uh, we will not actually solve major problems, but I will give you enough tools so that you can structure any problem which you like to with Python. Okay, uh, there's a library that we have, Network X, which will help us implement most of these things. There are certain limitations of this network. We'll try to combine it with NumPy, Pandas, and Matplotlib so that your regular machine learning work you can al do along with this network. Okay, at a very abstract level, I would say network is just uh, one abstract concept of representing your data, uh, which is more connectable. Okay, uh, there are certain nodes. Uh, which can be people, which can be objects, uh, and there are certain kind of relations or uh, some kind of uh, combination of uh, these networks which helps us solve a certain point of question. So we will discuss about all of those things uh, in this particular course. So what we are going to do here is uh, we will run slides like this, okay? And we will give you examples. For example, a simple uh, network could be uh, let's say between your friends. So A, B, C, D, E. Okay. And let's say D has some uh, friends from, let's say her past uh, college, right? So F, G, uh, G2, H, uh, I. Okay. So these are the people who are connected only to D. Okay. Whereas all of these people are connected to D because uh, they are from same college, and since they are from same college, there's a good chance that some of might uh, some of them might know each other as well. So we will have a network like this. Similarly, uh, friends from school might be uh, common friends with each other as well. So we can have networks like this. Similarly, these people will have some more, and so on and so on. So these kind of networks can be created. So this is a very simple social uh, group which we can represent like this. Similarly, let's assume uh, D is uh, let's say uh, eating product, let's say it's uh, chips. Okay. Uh, and other related item, let's say this is uncle chips. Uh, let's say uncle chips is usually ate by kids. So you can have, let's say chocolate, which is associated with this. You can have uh, other things like uh, milk, let's say, or biscuits or what are more things? Uh, Marvel. All of those things connected with this. Now, uncle chips can also be, uh, let's say, eaten by a college student. A lot of my friends eat tons of it. So these can be examples for that. So let's say along with that, uh, they like to eat, uh, what more things? Uh, beer. Uh, they have, uh, what more things do they like? Okay. It's not necessary. I only have to do it with food. Maybe TV series or web series. Okay, friends, sure. So this is how I can connect people based on their uh, eating or basic entertainment habits. Okay, 
so i can connect all of these things with each other uh because if i know this thing is related to these two and uh, this thing is also related to these two there's a good chance that people like to have a uh, beer when they are watching a web series right so all of these connections can be created now how strong those connections are uh, how meaningful that is how do we represent things like this and after that how do we drive uh, inferences from that right so that particular thing will come but for example you can see that all of this these are classified into a particular let's say child category i don't know about what all people use that but let's say these three or let's say these three are from entertainment okay similarly if i don't know they might be clustering so i think you get a basic gist of what is uh, going to happen in this course but it will do it uh, will do it at a much uh, advanced level than what i have just uh, drawn give you an intuition for uh other than that we will use some codes to see how that exactly works as well okay so i hope that this course uh, it's for some help to you because that uh, social network analysis is something which is in trend a lot of people do that specifically when we have so much data from uh, social websites because new and new platforms are opening every day uh, there's a huge demand of such kind of analysis uh, not only for people but uh, for objects anything in which you can uh cross relate a particular brand which makes two different kind of uh, food product or they do let's say make an entertainment product or a food product or let's say they uh make uh, clothing lines and they do automobiles so maybe some particular brand ambassador can connect both of those so there are tons of things which we can do with this so i hope that you get a basic gist of what this uh, area is uh if you have a lot of uh, notes that notes can be item or people or anything and they have some kind of a connection or some kind of a relation among them then social network analysis is something you can perform there okay uh, we'll study uh, start uh, starting with uh, basically graphs we'll see how we can implement them them in python with the help of network x and then we will move on uh, to more complex stuff using machine learning okay so hope to see you guys there thank you